I'm so excited. I just got an invitation to join a room with some of my friends via Zoom. Okay, so let's click the Zoom meeting and see what happens. Let's see, do you want this page to allow to open in the Zoom app? Well, I already downloaded the Zoom app. It's really important, I'm told, to have the app that makes this work better. So let's see what happens. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Join with computer audio. Hey, Rabbi. Hi, Rabbi. Uh-oh. Rabbi. Rabbi, your mute button is on, and that means that we can't hear you when we're on the Zoom call. So in order to unmute yourself, if you're on a computer at the bottom of the screen, there's a little icon that looks like a microphone. You have to press on it, and then you'll be able to hear you. And if you want to mute yourself so that if someone else is talking, then you press the same button and a line will go through it, red line, and that means that we can't hear you. And if you're on a phone or an iPad, you have to press the screen and, and usually the icon is at the top and it's, it works the same way. So can we hear you now? Thank you so much, Cantorlani. I didn't realize that before. I'm now, now you can hear me. I can hear you, wonderful. So, so good to see my friends here. Hi, Rabbi. Hi, Ira. Hi, Carol. Hi. Daniel, I think... Daniel, you're on mute also, so we can't hear what you're trying to say. <laughs> I was on mute. I wanted to tell you I'm really happy you're here. And I would love to see you better than I can see you right now. So I'm wondering if you could actually move to a place with the lighting. So instead of being behind you, the lighting is actually behind your monitor, monitor your screen, so that we can see your face better. So if I understand correctly, when on these kinds of videos, it's really important to have good lighting in the right place. Can you see me yes. a little bit better now? Very much so. Very, yeah, much better. Awesome. I'm so glad. Thank you for that reminder and that good pointer. Yeah, you're Rabbi. Yeah. Hi, Scott. Rabbi. It's, hi. It's so nice to be able to see you. But remember, when, when you're talking to us, please try to look straight into the camera so we can see your face. But Scott, because I'm... if you're talking sideways, it's hard to understand what you're asking for. But, but Scott, on my computer, I'm looking right at your face. Doesn't that make it look like I'm looking at you? No, you're looking a little bit down because you're looking into the computer. If you look straight ahead into the camera, oh. there you go, now we can see you. Hi, it's so good to see Hi. you. Absolutely. Wow. Is there anything else I should know about being on a Zoom call? I find the background distracting. I love seeing it, but I want to see more of you. Got it. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. What a great pointer. I'll just add one other thing, Rabbi, that if you need to step out for a moment and take your video off, it's really helpful to know that there's a video that's a button that says stop video at the bottom of your screen usually, and it has a little picture of a video camera. Oh, there you go. So now your video is no longer on. We can only see the Temple Akiba logo. So oh. now if you want to turn your video back on, just click the start video button and the red line will disappear. And there we are again. There you are. Great. Thank you all so much for walking me through this. Is there anything else I need to know? You did a great job. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. And I'm wishing you all a great rest of the day. You too. Hi, everyone. So that's how we Zoom. We make sure that our audio is working, that our video is working, that we have good lighting behind us, and that we're smiling into the camera when we're talking. Take care, all.